Hey guys, it's the next chapter in the Godsworn Diaries. Um, exciting time for a Godsworn player as they finished top of the Swiss round in Vassal Clash 3. It wasn't me who was playing them. Oh. But um, a few different things I'm going to chat about uh, this week. Um, so uh, yeah, um, grab a brew and uh, let's get to it. <music> Okay, so we'll, we'll, I'll start with my league game. Um, after the catastrophe of forgetting my uh, Oath of Conquest um, a couple of weeks ago, I felt quite confident going into this next game. I thought, my deck's good. The, what I need to do um, in the game, I've kind of got my head around that. That's fine. Um I feel I can have a competitive a competitive match against pretty much anyone, and uh, I drew Rippers, who are in who are in quite a good place post far, I believe, and um, it was a very aggressive Rippers deck, and it was just one of those games where I felt like I was doing all the right things. I was getting into positions. Um, I was uh, potentially going to be. Um, sort of getting the getting the kills and scoring the glory, but um, Rippers absolutely tore me a new one. Um, they j just absolutely r ripped me to shreds, um, and it was a uh, two nil, uh, two nil loss, and it was quite yeah, it was quite a comfortable win. It with a tournament um, sort of that close. Um, I think it was sort of, we played the game maybe on the. Wednesday or the Tuesday and uh, the Vassal Clash 3 was around the corner and in my I was gearing up to play Godsworn I really wanted to play Godsworn in the tournament and then um, just kind of like a little niggle at the back of my head just went you've lost seven games in a row in competitive format and that stuck with me for a couple of days it's like seven games that's a lot you know that's that's like two store tournaments, potentially, where you've not won a game, and that that slowly ground away at the back of my mind. Like seven, you've lost seven in a row. You could potentially, if you play the God's Sword again, lose eleven in a row, and that's quite a big losing streak. And I'm by no means am um, I top tier regular Grand Clash finalist um, that I've never been to one for a start so I can't say that uh, but um, I've got a few of these I've got, I've got four of these uh, I, I, in Shades by I was really good um, I was really good <laughs> but uh, then um, I had to kind of uh, drop back from playing because I was working at hospitality at the time and I just didn't play as much. Um, it wasn't really until I'd say the end of Night Vault that I started coming back into the game. Um, Beast Grave um, played quite a bit. Um, haven't won a Beast Grave trophy, but and then Corona hit, so I've probably not played as much as I would have this year. Obviously, um, playing a lot of Vassal, which is great, but the Vassal community is a really strong player base. So pride kind of overtook my decision to play the Godsworn in the Grand Clash and um, I ended up, uh, because I wanted to win some games, I thought oh, I'd, I'd, I'd want to kind of shake this um, losing streak off a little bit and I played Lady Harrows which was something that um, I had quite a lot of success, a lot of success with um, prior to sort of like COVID um, missing out on winning tournaments because of losing to the eventual winner um both times um but and it was a different play style not you know run up try and kill everything um it was very much an objective grabbing sort of deck now <laughs> i um messed that up quite spectacularly uh whether it's sleep deprived baby brain, whether it's because when I'm building lists now, I'm just using a website. I don't 
do the physical side of it. Um, I'll get more to that in a bit, but uh, I ended up, I just hashed, made an absolute hash of building my deck. Um, I only put three surges in, and own, and I think I put three cards in, which pretty much did the same thing, like quick on your feet, team effort, and creeping dread, which are all but the, the, all the, the same thing, which is which is silly, which is dumb, and I know that's dumb, but I put my deck together, it's like brilliant, go to bed, let's go play some Lady Harrows, and it dawned on me, um, half, um, kind of halfway through the first match that. I'd made such a big mistake. Like in my head, I was like, the three surge card is the limit. I know it's not the limit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, and that kind of put a bit of a dampener on my day. And I lost the first three games, which put my losing streak up to 10. And um, it was starting to bother me quite a bit. Um, played. Uh, Liam, in the last game, the guy uh, that I played when I forgot to do my oath um, of conquest, and uh, Liam was having a, a, a very similar day to me. Dice were not doing well for him. I think he said he'd changed his deck, and he hasn't really enjoyed the way that he changed it. So um, we both kind of used that game as a bit of an exhibition. It was like, well, how about we play the decks that we thought we were going to be playing Um so well, I changed three cards, uh, literally three cards I changed and um, made them surges and it, all of a sudden that deck was a, quite a bit of a monster deck. And uh, I ended up getting that win and stopping the rot. But I just wanted to kind of chat about losing streaks. Um, how do they affect other people? I'm really intrigued by that. Uh, so I... As the day was sort of going on, I was kind of like joking about it on Discord and Facebook with a couple of friends, um, Bantha Fodder and Mad Angry. If you're part of that community, you'll know them. Um, and I think if I wasn't joking about it, I think I would have probably got quite salty and quite angry about it. And then, I don't know if, no, I was quite lucky to play Liam at the end, who is the, like a really nice guy. And um, there are other people who, if I had played them at the end, were, wouldn't have even entertained the idea of us changing our decks around. Um, but yeah, it was, it was starting to get to me a bit and I was kind of starting thinking, well, what am I, I going to do? Like, sort of, I've got two more league games. Do I carry on with this Godsworn thing? Um, I, I know with the Godsworn games, I wasn't really expecting to get many wins, if any. I just wanted to play a warband that I have never used before, um, chat to you guys about it and see how it goes. But then thinking back to the tournament where I played Steel Hearts, I'd lost my second, third and fourth game with those and then rolling into another tournament. If I carry on losing, when do I stop losing? Do, as a competitive person, if I carry on losing, am I going to kind of lose interest in the game? I'd like to think no, but there are games that I've dropped when I'm like, ah, oh, I can't get my head around it. Um, this isn't for me. Because people quite like to win occasionally. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm interested really just to kind of hear what other people think of that and how they deal with it and how they um, sort of approach that type of thing. I always like to kind of break down things that I could have done differently. And... Like the Rippers, when I played the Rippers in my first Vassal tournament, um, I did all right with those guys. I won my first two games, um, then had two really tough games after the love of the break. But it was, you know, it was it was fun. And I think that like the main thing that I did that was differently is I set that I set up my day as if it was a um, like a physical tournament. So I had the cards in my hand. So I was, I was physically, I was looking at the screen. What cards do I have? I have those. Put them in front of me, and I would, and I would read them. Um, 
I've become probably a bit kind of blasé about that. Like I don't do that now. I don't really have the time to kind of sort of get everything together. Maybe I need to make that time now to do that if I'm playing in a tournament. Um, because I'm probably not as much as a hardcore player as some. With most cards, I will have a rough idea of what they do in the back of my head. Whether it's mine or what, the, what I think the opponents are playing. And I've, that's, like I've probably come unstuck a couple of times because of that. Like I forget a reaction or I don't declare that I've scored a card. And that ha that's happened a few times, um, particularly with the lethal repertoire. Um, to start off with in the back of my head, I thought you had to kill something with it. And I'd convinced myself that was the case. Um, if I'd had the card in front of me physically and read it, then maybe I wouldn't forget that sort of like really important rule. Um, what? Yeah. So what, what? Am I am I just being a little bit lazy because I, I don't read the cards properly online? Um, possibly. Uh, I don't know if I should stop using the um, deck builders to build my deck. Maybe I need to go back to going through my, because I just quite enjoy that, grab a brew or a beer and go through my folders and go, right, uh, this, 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 have a pile of cards that I want to use and then sort of go through them. And like I, I would like do like shuffle and deal out and sort of have a look at the cards and kind of try and put the combos together, if that makes sense. I don't know if other people do that, whether I'm just bloody weird. Um, maybe I need to go back to that and have that kind of element of a physical game um, in there when I'm playing on battle. But uh, yeah, let, let's let's know how you go. Like if you if you're watching and you're, you're like me and you've gone through a, a losing streak recently, or how do how do you deal with it? Do you just kind of ah just forget it, or you know some people go right? I'm not going to play for a while. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll be interested to hear how kind of like some of you guys deal with that. Now, as I said at the start, it was an exciting time for Godsworn players in the uh, Battle Clash as they did finish top of Swiss and made the cut. Well done, that man. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna. The deck is available. I'm not gonna break it down too much now. Um, but what I am going to do, there's two games left in the league. So next week's game, I'm going to shamelessly steal the deck and play that deck in my league game. Uh, I have had a little nose and um, three objectives, three power cards and three um, upgrades were different to what I had. It looks like the, like the style of play is identical. Um, so that's interesting. Um, I could, like one of the objective cards that he had was one of the cards that I was toying with having, but I thought it might have been too tough to um, to score. So that's um, intriguing. Um, but I'm go I'm going to play that next week. So well, do keep an eye out as um, I t I sort of test drive that and take it for a spin. But um, the fact that he managed to finish top of God's Sworn is fantastic. Um, I did mention in my previous video um, that the that I thought it was going to be full of um, tomes and lost pages and that type of thing. Um, the top eight would suggest that I was full of it. <laughs> that, didn't, that wasn't the case. Uh, so um, I'll just quickly go, go through what the top eight were. Okay, so the um, top eight were uh, Magwar's Fiends. Um, in eighth, Grimwatch in seventh, Thorns in sixth, Rippers in fifth, uh, Grimwatch in fourth, Thundrix in third. I played that Thundrick deck and it was absolutely filthy. It ran through me, it absolutely ran through me. But um, yeah, he was a good player as well. And um, Spike Claws again doing really well, finished in second, and then Godsworn Hunt, top of the pile, which was great. Um, it was from kind of uh, a lot of the chit chat amongst everyone, it was a very aggro heavy tournament, which I'm a fan of an aggro meta. It's it's a game about 
um, war bands biting, so it probably should be quite a bit of aggro in there. Um, a few people having kind of like mumblings about the fact that Grimwatch were a back seem to be back amongst it. Um, they're they're a very good all round flexi war band. Um, I think they're just very strong. Uh, it's I've never played them. Um, maybe I should before they get nerfed again. Uh, the the guys will be putting the uh, I'm not sure how many decks it's, it's a different number of decks each time whether it'll just be the top 8 or whether I'll do top 16 or top 20 or something on Underworld DB so uh, keep an eye out for that um, uh, but uh, yeah that's kind of uh, it for me this week um, apologies I didn't go too much into the game against the Rippers uh, with, I didn't really change the deck and there wasn't really much to say other than the fact that he gave me a whooping so well played that guy um, but Rippers look strong Godsworn can be good and I've stopped my losing streak that's my video in a nutshell <laughs> um, but uh, thanks for uh, watching um, keep an eye out for next week's video where I take that uh, Godsworn deck out for a, a, a wee little spin and uh, hopefully get my first win in the league but uh, yeah if uh, you enjoy um, these, these Godsworn videos do give us a sub um, I do battle reps for Underworlds Online as well and there's going to be some newbie Indomitus um, vibes uh, if you like 40k too so uh, yeah give us a sub and uh, yeah hopefully see you again real soon cheers bye